great day. Um, sorry, this is pre-recorded. Miss Kara had work. Um, but uh, regardless, I hope you are having a fantastic day. You got to maybe play outside, go swimming, do some exercises. That's always fun. Um, so right now, parents, I'm going to see if you can grab some colored paper if you have it. If not, plain will work just fine. And two band-aids. If you don't want to waste band-aids, it's okay. We can just draw them on. Not a big deal. Um, so without further ado, we're going to start with our fun songs. So like always, we're going to start with Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Awesome. I bet you guys have that down pat by now since you've practiced so much and sang with me, right? All right, so our next song is a hippopotamus song. In the beginning, God made the seas and the forest filled with trees and made the mountains up so high. And at the top he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cared. And in the mail he had lots of fun. When he made the hippo that weighs a ton. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Awesome. And our last song is probably one of my favorites, and it is Down by the River. Okay, so there are a couple versions. We'll start with the regular one first. Down by the river, down by the river, I took a little walk, I took a little walk. Met up with the devil, met up with the devil, we had a little talk, we had a little talk. Pushed him in the river, pushed him in the river, and hung him on the line, and hung him on the line. We can meet the devil, we can meet the devil, any old time. Any old time. All right. Let's get our purses out. Down by the river, down by the river, I took a little walk, I took a little walk. Made it with the devil, made it with the devil. We had a little talk, we had a little talk. So I pushed him in the river, I pushed him in the river, and I slapped him with my purse, and I jacked him with my purse. your man pants on. Pull them up high. Down by the river. Down by the river. I took a little walk. I took a little walk. Met up with the devil. Met up with the devil. We had a little talk. We had a little talk. So I pushed him in the river. I pushed him in the river. And jacked him in the jaw. Inject him in the jaw. We can meet the devil. We can meet the devil. Shoot man any old time. Shoot man any old time. All right. Thanks, Aunt Kathy, for helping me out on that repeating song. I hope you guys are doing it with her, too. But now it's story time. So follow me. Okay. The Pool of Bethesda. One day, Jesus went to the pool of Bethesda. Many sick people were there. They thought the first one in the pool, after the water moved, would be healed. Jesus found a man who had been sick for 38 years. Wow, that's a long time. And Jesus said, do you want to be well? Nobody helps me get to the pool in time, the man said, so he couldn't be healed. Jesus said, stand up, pick up your mat and walk. 
Right then, the man was cured. Jesus healed him. He picked up his mat and he walked away. So that's our story. And Jesus healed the man. So when we say a man is crippled, it means that he can't walk. He can't stand up. He can't run or play like we can. But Jesus healed this man. He just told him to get up and walk. And the man did because Jesus has special powers that allow him to be healed. And Jesus heals a lot of things. And he still does today. Sometimes when we pray, Jesus and God will heal us. So if you have a sickness, like you have a cold, and you pray to God and you say, Lord, please be with me. Help me to, to feel better. Heal me. He can help you to be healed. And it's not just sicknesses. He can help you when you're angry or when you're sad and all of those things as well. So now we're going to move on to our craft. This is where the colored paper comes in. And oh, there we go, the band-aids. So have you guys ever made a heart before when you're cutting paper? No? Okay, I can teach you. That's fine. So what we do is we fold the paper in half like this. What most teachers call hamburger style. So you fold it in half like that. Then we take the scissors and we just cut like this. And you go up. And then you start to round and keep rounding and finish like you're making a circle, like a half of a circle. Like that. Perfect. So this is what your shape should look like when you cut it out, just like that. And then once you cut it out, you open it and it's a heart. Magic. Didn't know that, but I'm magical. But you can be too, that's awesome. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my markers and I'm going to write on the top of my heart, Jesus heal, heals, like H-E-A-L-S, like he heals, like he healed the very sick man. And then, Boys and girls, what's something you put on a cut or a boo-boo? Is it, do you put a xylophone on your cut? No, that'd be silly, right? Or is it a glove? You put a glove on, right? No, you're right. You put a Band-Aid. So take your Band-Aid. And if your parents need to help you, that's okay too. But first put one up and down. If I can do it, just like this, one up and down, straight up and down. And then take your second one. I'm a mess, guys. Take your second one and open that up. And then we're gonna put this one side to side but we're gonna put it in the shape of a cross. So if you don't know what a cross is, just wait a second and then look at mine and you can put it in the same place. So there is our cross. And boys and girls, our cross is what Jesus died on. So this is how we remember Jesus, by the cross. So that's why we made a cross. And then all around our cross, we're gonna write things that Jesus heals. So he heals our sicknesses. So sickness and he heals our sadness. And sometimes when we're angry, he heals our anger. So put anger. And then we'll do one more and we will put Let's see here. He heals our boo-boos. So, if you want, 
you can put lots of other things that you think Jesus heals. There's many more. You could even put um, heals people that are crippled because that's what he did with that man in our story today. So remember, throw your trash away after you're done. I'll put this in the side pile because I don't have my trash can with me. So this is what it looks like after you're done. And you can hang this on your wall or put it by your bed. Just a reminder, reminder that Jesus heals and he can heal you. So let's take a look at our other... Chris Fye! What are you doing this whole time? Chris has been wearing a hat. You can't wear a hat in here. Oh, disrespectful. Oh, I'm sorry, boys and girls. We just had to address that. There's no hats in class. Okay, so let's take a look at Chris's, Chris's thing here. So he has... Ooh, he has a little angel sticker on his. That's pretty cool. Then we have Sam's. Sam's has God's Promise, the rainbow on it. That's awesome. And we have Sally. So if you only have clear band-aids, that's okay. It works too. You can even decorate them if you want. Same with the, the regular brown ones. We have Jimmy's. Jimmy's is nice and small. You can have a big heart or you can have a little heart or whatever. There's Fred's. Grandma Karen, she's got a big heart. Look how big that heart is. Then last but not least, Grandma Fern. Look at hers, it's beautiful. All right, so if you're feeling up to it and your parents allow you, go ahead and post a picture of your heart. I would love to see them. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a fantastic day. I love you. God loves you. And you are awesome. Have a great day.